Hello, 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 hello. We are back today for a sketch that I have been kind of excited for. <clears throat> um, just to spoil things right away, uh, for the past like month and a half, two months, I've only done things related to the game that I'm working on. Um, and every day that I start stream, I get a little bit like, okay, what can I do that's productive, that's related, that's not too big, that's not going to take longer than three hours, and I just get stuck in it. I get like so stuck in that process every single time I stream. And it's fine, and it's good, it's productive, we're, we're being okay, I'm not upset about it, but uh, I just wanted to change a pace. So um, today is a change of pace. So I'm going to make just a little fun thing, and it's low poly day, so it's going to match the low poly day aesthetic. Um, so I'm just gonna make a little fun thing. It's gonna be cool. If I can finish it today, that'd be dope. And I'm gonna put it up on all like social media sort of stuff. That's the goal. That's what we're shooting for. But if not, then we're good. But uh, as as the title of the stream should, uh, should suggest, it is um, some goblin mines. So if you're into goblin mines, that's what you got cooking up today. So uh, let's go for it. I'm gonna throw on some music and then we'll just dig right in. Uh, my music got kind of messed up, but should be good now. There we go. No problem. Starting off with a doozy. Starting off with some Minecraft. So, first things first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself a mountain. We're making ourselves just a nice little mountain here. And this is going to be our mines. So, I say that they're goblin mines. And I am definitely going to put goblins in here. But goblins are not the owners of this mine. This mine is owned by someone else, and I may or may not show that off today. We'll see. Okay. How am I doing today? I'm um, pretty good. That's an interesting question. I mean, it's a normal question that you should be asking everybody all the time, but I don't know. Maybe I'm in a bit of a weird mood. I'm not sure why, though. Um, I'm going to be off later today i'm gonna be um off i'm gonna be off the computer for a little bit because uh, i'm going over to uh, my parents place to um just kind of hang out for a little bit um it's gonna be really nice but um as part of that oh gosh this is gonna be tough hold on um, as part of that, I'm going to be offline, and there, you know, I'm just the kind of person that like preps for things, so I'm like prepping myself to go over and whatever else. So I think I might just be in a little bit of a mood from that, but it's a good mood, not a bad mood at all. Okay, is that a mountain? Also, I I decided to comb my hair real hard before stream today. I don't know why. I was just feeling kind of self conscious or something. I don't know what. Um, and now I have hair everywhere. There's like hair just falling off my head. So, um, if I'm scratching my nose a lot, I apologize. I, I'm literally breathing hair right now. <clears throat> it's the fun of having like a shaggy head. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do an SY0. Get this guy looking straight. Straight as can be. Junie's favorite. Junie loves when things are super straight. And... Get this guy cooking up here. And we gotta ask ourselves, is that a good enough mountain? Yeah, I love it. Oh, I know. Junie, I know you. Oh my gosh, Mango. Long time no see. Mango, how you been? Where you been all my life? <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and pop a little H onto there. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of sculpting. So we're doing low polys again today, but um, I'm being a little bit less picky about it. The goal is not to make the most low poly thing we've ever made before. We're not doing that again. Mango, how's life been treating you? You doing okay? What you been doing? There we go. That looks like a good enough mountain to me. And I can go ahead and press an Alt-H and put that back on. And we'll come into here and say that this just needs a quick little tamper and we're set. 
So let's just grab some stuff and scooch it on around a little bit right there and like here and then we're good. And this is the beginning of my mountain. This one. And we'll grab these two. Boom. Okay, cool. So that is the beginning of a mountain. Right? We can shade it smooth. It looks vaguely mountainous. Um, so, big goals. What I want to do here first is we're going to grab it and separate this layer out because this is an important layer for us. This is going to be... I'll just, I'll just spoil it right now. This is going to go ahead and be some lava. So we'll call that lava. We'll call this the mountain. Probably should scale everything up because I think we're going to get kind of big here in a second. But um, we'll deal with that when we deal with that. It ain't a big deal right now. So uh, let's continue on. I cannot believe how much hair I am shedding right now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want subdivision. I want solidify right next to subdivision. There we go. And now I ask myself, do I want to do this or do I want like a negative one? Because that's going to look a lot better for us. Kind of looks like a geode. We made like a little geode here, which color me a fan of geodes. Okay, cool. So let's take that. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in some layers for us to start building onto this guy. And you know what? I will just take it upon myself to make this thing huge. There's no reason this shouldn't be gigantic. So let's make this thing absolutely huge. We'll put some layers on it, and then we'll begin building. Um, so I'm kind of going to be going off like the cusp today. We're going kind of nuts. So if anybody has any ideas of things they want to see, by all means. We're in the mines. Suggestions are perfectly allowed. I'm trying to do things quickly. That's kind of the idea of Wednesdays, I think, from right now. Um, so if you have ideas, if you want me to add things, please, I will add things. But first and foremost, I'm just going to start building into this guy. So let's pop some of this on up. So we got this. I actually have a really good idea. I'm going to put this way in the corner here, and then I'm going to do something right here. Check this out. I'm going to do this just like that. Maybe dip it kind of into the lava a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're here. This is going to be cool. This is going to be super cool. Okay. I don't like that the lava comes up here. We're going to have to fix that, but that's not too big, I think. Let's just do that right now before I forget. So if I grab you, that one, yes. Pull you down, go back to object mode, go back to normal, and it looks perfect. Cool. Okay. So step number one, I'm going to make myself a little suspension bridge between these two. So let's start by adding ourselves a curve, since that's Simo's new thing for me, is making curves. Shout out to Simo. We'll do a Bezier, a Bezier. Um, it's going to be negative 90, and we're going to take it up to some curves. So question is, what do I want to be doing here? I I think I want to take it and go like this. We're just going to place it first, and then we'll come back to whatever anything else is. Okay, that looks all right to me. We'll round it up maybe a little bit. And you probably need to be... Hmm, I'm not sure. This is a steep angle. It's a scary bridge. I would kind of hate to walk on this thing. Maybe we should add one more that kind of sags. I'm not sure. Let's see here. If I grab you and we grab you and pull you out like that. 
That's a little bit more of the speed. That is real scary. That'd be a terrible commute every day, but someone's got to do it. And I guess goblins are going to be the ones to do it. So we'll put it real close to the front there so we can fill out the back with a little bit more detail. So I'm going to grab that. We're going to up the um, resolution on this thing quite a bit. I'll say like 24 is probably good. And then we're going to repeat the same process we did last time. So what I want is to make just a cube, just a simple, simple cube. We're not going to think too hard about it. Put you in and you are now a plank of wood. Just keeping it mega simple. We're not going to think too hard about this. The more I think about this, the weirder it's going to get. So I'm not thinking my head's empty. We're just going. Boom. Okay, so now what I want to do is grab this, grab our Y dimensions, which is four, put it here, and let's do this thing. So the idea here, if I know what I'm doing, which I don't think I know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try anyway, is we're going to do an array modifier with like fit curve, I think. Oh, but it's backwards. Negative point one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting there. Um, I'm gonna add a curve and the curve is this one. There he is. Okay, so now I need to do a negative 1.1 to give them some distance. And why they're not filling the whole curve is a little bit beyond me. Okay, now I know. So now they're filling the whole curve and then we come all the way up to here, not bad. That'll do. Where is the curve? I'm not seeing the curve. Oh, it's right in the middle. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So that is probably good enough there. And this is pretty close here. Maybe I'll do negative 1.17. Negative 1.15. Why did that do less? Negative 1.13. I'm not sure I understand what's going on, but this will do. This is fine enough for me. Um, and now, last but not least, I want to make some rope. So let's call this um, suspension bridge. How do you spell suspension? Suspension. I have an English degree, I promise. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a I guess I just want to make it a cylinder, right? Cylinder of 6. We'll texture it correctly so it looks just fine, but um this is what I want. So, 90 degrees here, pop you up. Let's get you real small. Oh man, I'm getting pretty excited. I actually think this is gonna be awesome. I have I have kind of high hopes for this sketch. I don't know if it's gonna turn out in the end, or I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it quick enough is what probably the better way to say that. But um, I am kind of excited for the idea of it. Hey CQDK, how you doing? That's a pretty uh, pretty low energy entrance for you. Normally you're pretty bombastic. Everything good? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just fit that to the curve again. Excellent, excellent, there he is. So if I take you and pull you up just a little bit, not half bad, we'll apply scale, which doesn't do anything, and then we'll come here to the middle. And now what I wanna do is I wanna SX, perfect. 
Uh, I guess I should probably take it upon myself to add some articulation to this thing. Um, some people might say that I should just use the curve. And I think those people would be right. So I'm going to just use the curve. Um, so first off, let's take this guy and say apply and apply. Oh my gosh, that is horrific. Are you okay? How long have you had your cat? Um, okay, so I can move this curve up now. This should be all right. I think this should be just fine. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fill this guy in just a little bit and we should be good. Wrong thing. I want this guy right here, depth. So we're going to want that really tiny. Only like a year. Was Were they older or um, like what happened? I mean, you don't have to tell us what happened. It might not even be in your best interest to tell us what happened, but, um, like, was it natural or did something happen? Like, a year seems like a pretty short amount of time for a cat. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out just a little bit, like the tiniest, tiniest amount. Maybe a little bit longer than that, 1.02. That should do just fine. Okay, cool. So that is our rope, and I'm gonna grab you and throw on a mirror modifier. Actually, first I'm going to, no, I can leave it like this. Uh, don't even know I'm not even home right now. Okay, well, we're gonna have a real, like, just chill time here, so. Feel free just to hang out. There's there's no weirdness, no pressure, nothing like that here. And uh, if you gotta go or you gotta do something or you can't handle anything, of course, by all means, you can do what you do. Okay, so that is gonna be our rope. Um, suspension rope. We're gonna call this high platform we're gonna call this low platform actually i'm gonna say platform low because i'm gonna put them all together and uh, i want them to organize together okay cool so let's go ahead and pop in a cube and i am somewhat realizing that the hardest part of this whole sketch is going to be doing materials and I'm not super looking forward to that. Also, because I'm streaming, somebody decided to mow right outside my house, which always happen. How am I today? I'm good. I, uh, I'm i having a nice little like uh, hangout with my mom later today. We're gonna go um, you know, eat some food and hang out, play some games. She always loved to play games. I, I, I don't know how my mom has always been such a gamer. But uh, I remember growing up and my mom was like into Tetris and she played like this mech game that I was really into. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go over, we're going to play some games and then we're going to the zoo tomorrow. So that's going to be pretty nice. Tell your parents you said, hey, of course I will. Absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and mirror this guy along the suspension bridge. Sounds like it's going to be fun. Yeah, of course. Me and my mom get along really well too. Um, we are we are very close. We're very friends um, in a way that I don't think a lot of kids are with their parents. Unfortunately, we're gonna call this suspension. What I'm just gonna call it holder. That's not that's not the best way to say that. But we're just gonna call it suspension holder high. Uh, yeah, me and my mom are friends in a way that not a lot of um, children are with their parents which is uh, cool, which is really cool, really, really strange. Um, I think a lot of people have such a formal relationship with their parents 
And uh, I think luckily that's kind of going away with um, more modern generations. But like the relationship that, you know, my parents have with their grandparents is so much different than the relationship I have with my parents. Um, and that's, that's just kind of cool. It's kind of a weird little thing that's sort of maybe just changing with the times. Who knows? There we go. Cool. Okay, so we got ourselves a suspension bridge. We got ourselves two little platforms here. Part of me wants to hold up these platforms with some wood, but I think I want to focus in first. Let's not get stuck in those details yet. The more we think about details like that, the less this stuff is going to make sense, I think. Oh, you know what I want? I want to put a ladder. I'm like obsessed with ladders. I love ladders. Let's put a ladder in here. I'm going to do this. Okay, so this is going to be like the highest part of this mountain right here. And we're going to put a ladder going straight up. I hope I can fit a ladder here. It'll be kind of close. So let's build a ladder. Um, also, I'm going to call this platform top. Also, did I not name this platform low? I just named it platform. Why did I do that? Okay, cool. So that is probably about what we're going to expect from all of this. And we're going to add some cool stuff from here. So first and foremost, let's make a ladder. What is a ladder look like? A ladder is... Well, I mean, it's a bunch of planks. I suppose it's not planks. I suppose it's supposed to be um, like dowel rods. But um, I don't think goblins are really capable of like turning wood like that. And also it's not low poly, so I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna make ourselves just a little rung of a ladder and we're gonna go all the way up. So let's add an array modifier. We're gonna go Z by maybe four. Why did it go down? Is this up? Am I upside down? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm right side up. Why is it going down? That doesn't make any sense. That's real strange. I mean, I'll just work with it, right? Who cares? But that is strange. What color are your goblins in game? Um, so this is just kind of an extra little sketch that I'm working on. Um, I don't have goblins in my game. Um, there's there's no such thing. So I can kind of do whatever color you want. Um, I think I'm in very inclined towards pink. Or maybe like a teal. Like a cyan. Nobody knows what the difference between teal and cyan is. Um, but... Whatever, whatever color is actually teal, because teal is the correct color, is the color that I'm thinking. Aqua? Yeah. Aqua is a good way of saying it. See, the thing is, uh, we have a problem in Western society where cyan is not a separate color. Like, it's a type of blue. But it's not a type of blue. Cyan is its own color. Like, it belongs to its own, like, classification of colors. Um, so it's like really frustrating when people are like, yeah, cyan, it's blue. No, it's not. It's not a blue. Okay, cool. So we got ourselves a little goblin ladder. Let's go all the way up. Go nuts. Go crazy. These guys have such a big commute to work every single day. And what I want to do is I want to turn it by 90. Oh, please don't do that. Negative 90. We're going to turn it down just a tiny bit like that. We're going to put it down here. And I think I've just given myself the hardest job in the world. I think I did this backwards. Uh, so what you're about to see is not canonical. Trust me. Um, that also doesn't super work. So we're just going to bring you this way. And that works. That'll do. 
Is it a little close for comfort? It might be a little close for comfort. Actually, I want to fill this space maybe a little bit more. Um, and it's, I'm going to make it way more precarious. So we're going to do that. We're going to go like kind of crazy. These people are nuts. These are goblins, right? They don't care. What do they care about? They care about getting gold and killing dwarves. Their, uh, their needs are pretty, pretty small in the grand scheme of things. Okay, cool. So that is our ladder. Blah. What is blah? Is that is that just you saying blue or? Okay, so this is gonna be our ladder. I should probably put things together like this. Ladder rungs. And now let's do the other part. The other part is going to be a cube. Real simple. Keep it simple, stupid, as they say. And it's been, what, 30 minutes? And I'm already kind of like, this is more than we did all last stream. Like, the quality is not there, right? In no way am I saying this is the same quality as last stream. But it is more than we did last stream. Also, to the guy that mows my lawn every time I stream, bud, what are you doing? Why? My lawn doesn't look good. So what he's doing, I don't know. It's beyond me. Nope, oh, that's not what I want. I want this one, negative 90, perfect. Uh, I was thinking blue, but I thought how, how do you say blue in German? Man, I don't think I know the German for blue. It's been a long time since I've really done any German conversation. It's been a, been a long, long time since I've done any German, actually. Uh, so I don't know. Blau sounds about right. Okay, so that goes straight into the earth. Let me get into here and put on an x-ray, and I'm gonna make sure that it's centered correctly. Right there. I'm very inclined to let this stick out, like have these rungs come through here. And I'm going to take that advice. I'm actually, I'm, I'm just going to take that advice. There's no reason not to take that advice. Okay. So that is that. And last but not least, we can just come into here, grab you. Actually, apply scale first before we get too crazy. And now we grab you. And we extrude along normals. And we can just lower that down just a little bit. There we go, perfect. And now I can come into here and remove this little loop cut. Where is it? Where's that loop cut at? It's hidden. Oh, I found it. There you are. Get rid of you. And we put on a mirror modifier, and we are done with the ladder. Hey, Simo, what's going on? Simo, how you been? I haven't had I haven't had like a huge conversation with you in a long time. Okay, this is gonna be called um, ladder. I don't even know what you call this height, because I'm bad at naming things. There we go. So there's your ladder going all the way up. So we got ourselves suspension bridge. We got ourselves a ladder. We got some lava. Um, I think we probably want to make some gold. Let's make some gold bars. Putting some gold bars up here might do it. That might be like the best course of action, I think, for us. What's going on with your podcast? Why uh why the problem with the podcast? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of that. Hit uh some scale. Do a little bit of this. Pull this guy down just a slight bit. And I know it's low poly, and I know we're going for low poly, but I am gonna bevel the bottom of this. Just by a little bit. There we go. Just so it sits really nice and firm on the surface that we're placing it on. 
Um, I might go ahead and do a little bit of this. And then grab the whole thing and stretch it out just a little bit. And I'm going to call that a piece of gold. Cool. Let's do it. Let's hit this thing up. So gold should be pretty easy, I'm thinking. Here's how I'm going to do this. We're going to grab this piece of gold. That's it. Just one giant piece of gold inside the goblins. Let's do it. So we got a piece of gold. Let's stick this guy down. Looks like gold, but what about gold nuggets? I can make some gold nuggets. Why not? Let's do that. I like that idea. Uh, I managed to delegate stuff, but apparently it was too hard to cut an episode, so we are late now in our schedule. Um, is it just because of the quality of work, or was it the people that you were recording with weren't upholding their end of the job? Because I have experienced a lot of that in my life. And that is one of the hardest things to work with, because you just kind of put your hands up and go like, all right. All right, so I'm gonna say 1.2. Then again, it doesn't really matter as we aren't that serious about the schedule. How many people do you expect to listen to it? I mean, like how, what's your following look like? Also, let this be a little uh, thing to everybody. Go check out uh, CMO's podcast. What are you doing with your life? Go check out CMO's podcast. All right, so I'm going to grab that and push this guy on back. We got ourselves just a little bit of gold back here. I'm actually going to lower our quantities by one. If you speak Finnish, hey, to all my Finnish speakers out there, I got a podcast for you. You know, I think you should end every episode of your podcast. This doesn't even work because obviously it's a different language. But uh, I think you should end every episode of your podcast by saying, and we're finished. And then you end the episode. I think that's how you should end every single episode. All right. Let's take this. Let's pop this on over. We're stacking up some gold. We're going to pop that on down. Do a little bit of this there. That'll do. And what I'm going to do is now hit apply on this. We're going to grab you. We're going to come into here. I'm going to grab... It didn't... Okay, never mind. What? That's That was weird. Why did that happen? Um, let's go ahead and separate by loose parts. I'm going to come into object mode, and we're just going to delete a few of these guys. Um, tell you what. We'll do like this. It kind of seems like they underestimated the work it would take to cut an episode and started too late. Yeah, I mean, that's common. Procrastination is rampant in the world. Rainbow gold. I'm not going to make the gold rainbow. The gold's going to be regular gold colored. But I will put some other stuff in here. Like, we'll, we'll get kind of fancy with it. Okay, I sort of love that part of it is like really orderly and part of it is not that has like a weird charm to me it might be a little jarring i'm not sure it maybe looks a little too artificial for me but um i do like it i do think it looks cool yeah we should muddy this up just a little bit let's do that Let's make it a little bit less perfect. Um, we're gonna go ahead and separate by loose parts. And if my nose could stop itching, that would be wonderful. <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. Um, you know what I wanna do? I want to 
grab all of this. Here's what I should be doing. Nope, nope, nope. Careful. Be very careful. We're going to grab all these guys, and we're going to set the origin to geometry because um, we're kind of running into a bit of an issue here. There we go. This should be a lot easier now. I can delete you, take you, and we can mess you up just a little bit. Just mess up a couple of these guys. Get them looking kind of crazy, kind of weird. Actually, just delete you. You don't matter. Give that a bada boom. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You can get rid of. That's fine. So now we just want to support the weight correctly, and then we're done. Gold has been acquired. You can come on over here, and we can move you. So looking at our voting, um, we already have explosive potatoes and a goblin. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe, I'm talking to you straight on right now. I'm already making a goblin. We're already going to have a goblin. I'm making a goblin, you know, probably right after this, if I'm being perfectly honest. But um, you didn't know that, so that's okay. It does look a little bit like candy. I'm kind of inclined with you saying that to add a little bit of candy. Oops, careful with that. I'm kind of inclined to add some candy, but um, I think that's a bad idea because the more I think about stuff like that, the less I'm going to actually do the thing that I'm supposed to do. So let's not do candy today. We're just going to chill. There we go. So we got a bunch of random gold being thrown around. It's a little messier than I think I'd like, but that's okay. What I want to do is put all this together and not put it on the ladder. So we're going to join all of this together. And that is now pile of gold. Pile of gold. Candy, though. Gold coins. You said gold nuggets. We're already on gold nuggets. Also, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, top platform is actually a collection now. I think this is going to make way more sense to organize it like this. So we're going to say mid platform. And I will call you platform mid. And we will make one more called platform low or low platform. And this one will have you. It will have this. The suspension bridge is kind of both of them. So I don't know about that. Everything else is okay, though. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, also, um, I'm getting quite parched. So, um, why is it teaching me how to use my own channel points? Okay, well, here you go, everybody. Make sure you take a nice little thing of water. A donkey to transport the gold. That's going to be a big no from me. I, there's no way I'm going to make more than just a goblin. Like, goblins are already going to be hard enough. I'm not even making true goblins. I'm going to be making kind of like goblin-adjacent monsters. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a goblin right now. You know what? I'm going to consider the suspension bridge part of the mid-platform, just so I can make my job a little bit easier. Something like Vivi from Final Fantasy... Mm. The goal here is to make something easy. <laughs> to make something that doesn't kill me. So. Oh, Vivi. Vivi. When you said Vivi, I was thinking the bunny people. Uh, no, 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 no. It's going to have a face. I'm going to do my best to make an actual low poly goblin. We're, we're going to give this a real shot. So, just think. Just think we're going to make we're going to redo the dragon. We're just going to channel our inner dragon. Goblins have a big head. Um, hey, fun fact, by the way, anybody who's ever been curious, uh making 
uh, like characters in poly edit is kind of a dumb idea. And the fact that I do it is very strange. And I'm aware of that. So if anybody's like, why don't you sculpt it? The small answer is I'm not good at sculpting. The longer answer is I would like to sculpt it. I'm planning on doing a, like a sculpting only stream soon. I'm just worried that I won't be able to have any usable geometry from it because um, I'm trying to keep things pretty low poly. And the idea of converting sculpts to low poly is kind of beyond me a little bit. Not that it's not possible, but um, it's just a little beyond me. So here's the beginning of a goblin. Right there. We'll fix all of this topology eventually. This is not actually getting used in the game, so I'm not too worried about it, but I will be more careful. Oh, I like the ears down. Ears down is the look. Okay, so that's that. No, I want the mouth to be here. Boom, boom, right there, that's a mouth. Hmm. How do I solve this problem? Like that, like that. There we go, that'll do. Cool, okay, so now I need to give him like goblin-y lips. And he's, he's gonna be a little smiling boy. I'm okay with him being happy. We can have a nice, happy little goblin. We're gonna do a little VZ. Go up. Oh man, he's gonna need some work. There's definitely some issues here. Biggest thing I can see that's gonna need the uh, help is two of these guys. You and you need to be pushed up. You probably need to be moved forward. I might even merge it with this. That looks good. This doesn't look good. Okay, so I can live with that. That's good. Let's go ahead and merge these guys. And then we're gonna take the back of him and push that part forward. And then I think we're kind of cruising. That's kind of what I think a goblin looks like in my mind. Looks a little bit like Winnie the Pooh. The spot where the IV was in my arm is all bruised. Those are battle scars. You did it. I think we can safely remove this and this. Don't think that makes enough of a difference for me to care. If this is merged like this. Now I ask myself, what are we doing? Um, if we articulate the mouth like this, this could be great. What's the no? What's the no for? Oh, I like that face. That was a nice face on stream. Okay, cool. So I'm going to pop this guy out and do one across the side there. And we're going to make ourselves a goblin nose. So let's get ourselves a nice big old goblin nose. Actually, I want to do it maybe like this. Oops, careful on that. Gonna hook the nose up just a little bit. Actually, let's not hook the nose up. Let's hook the nose down. That way we're gonna work with a better use of space. So I'm gonna do that and then bring these guys in. And now I ask myself, is this a little too weird looking? This maybe looks a little too crazy for me. Maybe it's better if he has like a witch's nose, like a little like sweet. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Scale that thing way down. Get it low. And then we're going to grab the nostrils and flare out the nostrils a little bit. And then all we need to do is pop this guy up right in the center. Both of these guys, come on, you got it. What are you so sad about, CQDK? What's happening? Why are we crying? What's happening? All right, let's... Um... I need to find a version of this song that doesn't have this ending bit because I don't love this ending. I only really like the first part of it. I think this is more of like a medley. Okay, we're gonna do that. And part of me thinks it might be good. Junie, I think Junie's doing all right. Junie, do you wanna say if you're all right or not? How are you feeling, Junie? Look at that nose. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, that's a nose. <laughs> it looks... Oh, God, I've just been triggered a memory. I just... This just triggered a memory for me. Um, there's a game on the GameCube called Cubivore. And it's the best game ever. Oh my god, I think about it all the time. I want it so bad. I think it costs like 200 bucks right now. Um, it's like one of those classic games that just is so rare. And I owned it. I had it and I didn't keep it. And I'm You do you remember Cubivore? Yes. I'm I'm just reminded of Cubivore right now. Doesn't this remind you of Cubivore? Oh man, I have great memories of Cubivore. What a weird game. Whoever made that game? The whole idea, for anybody not in the know, and that's probably most people, the idea of the game is that you have a... Dude, what is up with this? This needs to be merged down. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he looks, he looks so good. The whole idea of Cubivore is you have a like paper cutout animal. Like it'll be like a frog, but it's like Minecraft almost. It looks like a Minecraft frog. And the whole idea is you have to survive by getting parts. So you'll like eat stuff and you'll get like an extra kind of arm or wings or whatever. Kind of like spore in a way. But the whole aesthetic is that it's like Lego pieces. It's not um it's not meant to be like too biological. Um and so the game it like plays out like a kind of simulation game for a long time and you're just kind of doing whatever. And then eventually it wants you to mate and you mate and make babies. And as soon as you make babies, you incarnate into your babies. You like turn into your children and that is now your character is the child. And the game just continues on until eventually it gets super existential and you go and meet God. Like you just go meet God halfway through the game and it is bizarre. It is such a game. And I want to play it so bad and I forgot I've like removed that memory from my mind for the longest time. And now I remember the game. It's been, it's been activated inside of me. Uh, dare I say, I actually kind of really like this goblin. I actually kind of really love the way he looks right now. I don't know if anybody else is feeling it, but um, I'm feeling it. As far as my terrible character design um, track record is concerned, this is looking pretty solid. I'm not too displeased with this guy. This guy's pretty cool.
Yeah, this will do. This will do just fine. Let's put some eyes on him. And I think we might call it from there. What I think I want to do is maybe merge here. Goblin is fantastic. Thank you. You know what I bet this goblin doesn't have to deal with? Having hair in their nose. I bet the goblin doesn't have to deal with that. If I could get a genie and wish to be bald, I think I'd be way happier. Goblin looks floomph. Goblin does look floomph. He looks kind of like a grandma. Uh, like that, but um, that's okay. It's par for the course. Ain't nothing wrong with a grandma. So let's... Ooh, angry goblin. Angry man. You would be cold if you were bald. I am the warmest human being on earth. Like, there's no worry about that in the world. I produce an unbelievable amount of body heat that any way that I could cool myself would be great. There we go. Yes. Look at him. Oh, he's lovely. Oh, he's lovely. I can't believe I made a goblin. <laughs> I don't think you are the warmest, but sure. What do you mean by that? What does that mean? CQDK is calling me out over here. I am like the warmest human being on earth. Like, no doubt. The ability my body has to produce body heat is absurd, is is scary. This is awesome. Wow. Since when was I a 3D modeler? Since when could I make things? I'm kind of thinking the back of this guy doesn't even need to exist. Hear me out. Like, if we're going low poly, let's go low poly, right? Ain't nothing needed there. <laughs> Am I a little late to this? But it's fine to poly model characters. It can be annoying to design them like that, though. I agree. I'm just bad at sculpting. That's the only reason I said that. You are a little late to be saying that, though. So, therefore, your opinion cannot be, um, cannot be considered, you know, true. I still don't think so. I mean, you don't know me. That's okay. What what uh what trust do you have to take my opinion, right? Like I I literally do not have a way to prove to anybody that I am warm aside from the amount of sweat that I collect during stream, which is very real. There we go. I think this is an A-OK -okay looking guy. I think he looks great. Okay, cool. I'm set. I'm done. I got I got nothing else to worry about. I think we're good. So let's make the body. Let's uh let's keep on keeping on. Um, I do need to build an armature for these guys. MS Goblin? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> like MS Paint? So I like that. I can live with that. Let's uh let's just turn this into a circle. Oh, Miss Goblin. Yes, we have quite a Miss Goblin here. That'll be the neck. Okay, perfect. This looks <laughs> I I love I love her. We're going to say she's a her now. I love her. She's awesome. This is great. I mean, let's just, let's humor ourselves real quick. Let's just give ourselves a little bit of humor. Thoughts about Windows 11. Um, this is the first I'm hearing about it. She looks much angrier when you do a subsurface on her, but can't say I hate it. Yeah, it's the first I'm hearing about Windows 11. 
Um, is it announced? Is it is it a thing? Microsoft as a company is a company that I really don't trust anymore. I use their products because it's what what I got. But um, they're a strange company, man. It's been announced. Well, that's interesting. What's uh, what's the catch? Why why do it? What's the point? Oh, I love this song. This is a new song to the playlist, by the way. For anybody who's tracking the playlist, this is a new one. Um, it has maybe the most unfortunate name. Um, it's called A Lush Load from Fantasy Star. <laughs> That's all right. I don't know if I love the way that mouth looks. You know what I think would be better? I got a different idea. Hold on. Come back. Come back. Come back. Any Doom? I do not have Doom music. You've, you've already asked this. Uh, not sure. I was under the impression that they wouldn't uh, too much iterations and just update Windows 10. Yeah, I was kind of under the same impression. What, uh, what made them want to make a new OS? Um, from, you know, the best of my understanding, Windows is a company that kind of doesn't do that stuff anymore. So the fact that they're announcing it might be a good change of direction. Like, maybe it means that, you know, they're actually taking stuff seriously. But, um, in my experience, uh, Microsoft was a company that just sort of, like, gave up for a while. Like, was just sort of like, hey, like, you like our product? Keep liking our product. Um, I want to remove these two. Dissolve those edges. And now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, what do I want to do? I want to do this. Kind of looks like a Mac, which I am not a fan of. What do you mean it looks like a map? It's an operating system. Like the, the interface looks like a Mac? Apparently you can't move the taskbar, which is a big no-no for me. All right, so yeah, what I was saying about Microsoft is true. They've given up. Cool. Uh, well, color me not impressed. When everybody threw a fit about Windows 7, and they're like, they don't want to use Windows 10, and they refuse to switch out of Windows 7 and everything like that, I didn't really get it. I was like, that's ah, not me. I don't care. I'm okay with whatever, as long as my games work. Not being able to move stuff around... That's a bit harsh. Okay, Goblin is ready to go. Let's make a body. I've been kind of jamming around. I don't I don't want to get too comfortable. We're here. We're back. Focus. Windows is a thing. It can't hurt you. Moving on. What I want to do is extrude out here. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be a hard one. This guy's just in a barrel. Now he's in a flask. This is going to be a little weird. All right, I, my head's not on right now. I, I I got too comfortable with how good the head looks, and I stopped thinking for a little bit. I'm back. I'm paying attention. We're here. We're good. I'm going to do this. There's no reason to get ahead of ourselves. We're going to grab these guys. We're going to pop them in just a little bit. Grab you, pop you in just a little bit, but we're gonna come out, bring these guys down, just a smidge, just a little smidge, just like that. Actually, these guys can probably stay up, be like a back. 
Okay, not half bad. Now you are your collarbone. So the question is now, what on earth are we doing? I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of this. Delete faces. We're gonna make ourselves two arms. Um, should I have done a mirror modifier and split this thing down the center? I actually am not sure about that. The short answer is yes, I probably should have, but I'm also kind of like, I'm thinking about the center line of this guy kind of a lot. What about three arms? I'm gonna give that a no. It's an idea, um, but I'm already not good at character design. And if I think if I did three arms, I would probably not do a very good job. Just kind of thinking out loud there. I think we'd be disappointed with the uh, results. I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them four arms, um, but two of the arms are going to be legs. And that, that should do it, right? We're all good at that? That's perfect? Now I can grab you and grab you and pull you back. <laughs> CQTK, what a good sport. Okay, boom. We can extrude along normals down just a little bit. Actually, I want to give them like kind of monkey arms. Um, they have, they're very like dexterous, right? Goblins do a lot of cool stuff. Goblins are pretty nutty. So we'll give them nice long arms. And I can go ahead and just extrude out. Let's do a little bit of an inset. Let's do in a little bit of an extrusion to get that little cup on the elbow. And just for the sake of my own sanity, I'm starting to think maybe I do want to do a mirror modifier now. Let's do a bisect. So what should happen if I know my stuff? Nope. Short arms like a T-Rex. Definitely not doing that one. Nope. Bisect does not want to work. Okay. Well, I will just take it upon myself then to cut this guy in half. Sorry, bud. It's been nice looking at two sides of you, but it is over. Now we can take this, just move the arm out a little bit, just so it's away from the body. That way I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And now the question is, how are we gonna make fingers? Windows 11 will have Android app support. That is kind of interesting. How is that gonna work? Man. That's maybe my least favorite version of the world right there. If Google gets a hold of Microsoft, that's my least favorite version of the world. That's the end of days. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little bad and I apologize. Let's all pretend that we're not watching. I'm not actually streaming right now for the next for the next 60 seconds, I'm not streaming, okay? We're all we're all gonna remember that I'm not streaming right now. This is not live, this is not happening. Okay, I will take this and bring you down. I don't I like I don't get how people make fingers. What the heck is a finger? How do fingers exist? Fingers are too weird, man. I just don't get it. It makes it makes literally no sense. Anybody who can make fingers? Nope, nope, nope. I Simo, it's weird that you're talking in a chat for somebody who's not streaming. Isn't that strange? Okay, boom. We're going to go ahead and merge at center. Oh, look what a good job I did. 
Did I put the thumbs on the right way? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Weird. I don't know why Simo is like in my chat right now if I'm offline. It's very strange to me. That's okay though. When I do go live, I'll make sure to tell Simo that that was a little bit weird. All right, boom. Hey, and we're live. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my stream. Um, I made fingers. Uh, we don't need to talk about how I made them. We don't need to talk about whether they're good or not. <laughs> CQDK. Yeah, that was weird. I, th I think Simo was just talking in my chat before I went live. Isn't that strange? I don't know why. I don't know why that was a thing. There we go. Look at it. It's just the Windigo all over again. The gross Windigo all over. Yeah, oh, he's perfect. Oh, he's perfect. He's a perfect goblin. What do you mean he's a bad-looking goblin? He's a perfect-looking goblin. Yeah, we don't talk about the Windigo. We do not talk about that Windigo. That thing was... by far the worst sketch I've ever done in my life. I still, like... I still watch the VOD sometimes for that, and I, like, skis myself out. I'm like, I don't know what was going on during that stream. Okay, boom. This is why I didn't want to do a mirror modifier. Um, also, why is this happening? Hold on. There we go. That should do, and we'll do the same thing at the back here. Boom. Okay, we got ourselves a little goblin, and I'm going to give him a nice short body. A nice cute little short body. There we go, and I think you want to give him like a little bit of a beer belly, right? Goblins, these are these goblins are doing well. The back is flat, the front is a beer belly. Yep. That'll do. You love Mama Wendigo? It's bad. It's so bad looking. Mr. Six, calling me by my official name. Oh, Mr. Six. It's always a breath of fresh air when you pop in a chat, honestly. Mr. Six always, always has all of our best interests in mind. Which, uh, you know, it's refreshing. It's nice to see. All right, let's go ahead and finish off this beer belly and we'll go ahead and do the pelvis a little bit better. Look at that beer belly. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, it's a beer belly. Look at that beer belly. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. Mr. Six, how's the bar holding up? Are you at the bar right now? Okay, now we're gonna do the pelvis. We're gonna get the pelvis real nice looking. Bada boom. And now we're gonna make long little goblin legs. And what time is it? We're killing it on time right now. Okay, I learned something the other day. Um, you can do this and hit B. Oh, I can't, why can't I? B to the side, we can't. Why can't I do that? It's calm. That's good, you like to see calm. Outset. Nope, I don't want outset. Why can't I? Now there's a feature of this goblin I wanna add, but I would get tos from Twitch. So I'm actually not gonna think about that. But there is a little feature that I just thought of that I'd really like to add to this goblin that I think would sell it. But we're gonna we're gonna move on from that thought. Okay, here we go. 
Here's how we're gonna do this. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Yes. This is my special way of solving this problem. Nope, it didn't work. Well, here we go. Here's my special way of solving this problem. We're just gonna do a J there, and we're just gonna do a J here, and we're gonna say, Bob's your uncle. Nice and easy. Sorry to introduce you to your uncle Bob so late into your life, but uh, Bob is indeed your uncle. And he misses you. He misses you a lot. Big belly? Okay, so Mr. Six has, has got it. Mr. Six got it instantly. Mr. Six knows what's up. I'm gonna make this goblin a little bit bow-legged. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of bow-legged. Yeah, a little bit of bow-legging. Bob is apparently bad topology. What are you talking about? You would talk about Bob that way? Also, I don't know where this line came from, so I'm gonna get rid of this line real quick. This is perfectly fine topology. What are you talking about? This looks great. This is no problem at all. There we go. Look at Bob's, look at Bob's lovely big giant legs. I actually kind of like the idea of doing like legs like this. And then we're gonna do a control right click and another control right click down at the bottom. SZ zero, perfect. Now, what we're missing from this is that needs to come forward a little bit. He's bow-legged, he's not sideways. You can be inset and extruded just a little bit. <laughs> Look how weird that looks. I kind of love that. I love this weird knee thing that I'm doing now. I don't know why I like this knee thing so much, but it's very funny looking. It's super weird looking. Yeah, this will do perfect. Oh, look at him. Miss Bob. Yes, it's Miss Bob. I apologize. So the, the feet, I feel less inclined towards the feet. I don't care too much if feet look bad. So we'll just make some nice quick little feet. Is this Sonic music? What are we listening to? It is Sonic, which song? Windmill Island Night from Sonic Unleashed. Huh, I don't remember adding this one. I don't remember this one. I was going kind of quick, I guess. Sonic Unleashed is kind of an underrated game, I think so. Give her Hello Kitty shoes? I'm gonna say no to that. I'm gonna give that one a no. I'm sorry. I hate to be a disappointer, but I'm gonna say no to that. Okay, and now we go for the big one. We do a two. We link it up here. And then we extrude on out back to here. And now we can take each of these little toesies and let's make them go. I will apply scale real quick. I kind of wish I could auto apply scale like every two seconds. I'm sure there's a problem with doing that, but um, I think it'd make my process a lot easier if I just like applied scale every single time I did something. Who is this kitty that everyone says hello to? Um, it's just a cat that, uh, like, you know, a religion has been formed around. Um, you know, everything in the world that is cute belongs to the cat. Uh, if you wish to be cute, you must pray to the cat. And, um, that's all she wrote.
This will do just fine. Is this the best looking thing I've ever made? Absolutely not. But the volume at which we made it, I'm not super upset about this. We got ourselves a little goblin. And it's naked. What's to hate about that? Frog goblin? What do you mean frog goblin? Cool. We got ourselves a nice naked goblin. Hanging out, walking around, going downtown, picking up groceries. This is a goblin. And if we're to, f we're, if we're to finish this goblin off, I know that if you were making a really low poly thing for PS2 or whatever, you would in integrate the eyes straight in. Um, but I'm not going to do that because, um, I don't know, I'm bad. Sue me, I guess. We're going to do a really low poly eyeball. We got ourselves this, pop them back in. Ooh, that is kind of scary looking. It kind of looks like Sableye. Maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe this is too scary. Uh, let's. That's a little too scary for me. I don't want that. I don't want this to be a scary thing. We're going to say like a 20 by 10 on here. We're keeping it as low poly as we can. And that's not very low poly, but, you know. Everything can't be froggy chair all the time. We're going to go ahead and just do a little bit of that. Shrink it on down. Bring this eye forward and say, hey, how you look? And I'm kind of starting to believe that I should just integrate the eye. We're going to integrate the eye. Too bad. This is what it looks like. I'm going to integrate the eye. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's crack. So we're going to hit apply on the mirror. It is done. I'm done worrying about it. We've made ourselves a goblin. And let's make some skin for it. So what I want to do, I will stay in this little pre-render thing. This will work just fine. What's going on with your internet? We're going to call this goblin skin. It's back. Very good. So, question time. What color is the skin? Have we agreed that it's teal? Because, like, teal is the best color, right? That's a goblin. Like, that's a goblin. That's what a goblin looks like. Maybe even a little bit more on the yellow side. That's a goblin. Pink? Pink, purple, you know what, okay, here's what we're going to do, guy, hold on, we're getting a little silly now, here's what we're going to do, we're going to make a color ramp, I'm going to pop in the color ramp, and we're going to put this at 0.9, and we're going to grab you, we're going to do that, and we're going to hit constant, bring you on over. I don't want alpha. I want color. Here's what I'm going to do. This guy, we're going to have a very low chance of having a purple, purple goblin. Oh, pink guy. I understand. This is a filthy Frank reference. We're bringing filthy Frank into this stream. There we go. That's, that's a pink purple goblin for you. We're going to give that a very small chance. Very, very small chance. So I'm going to go ahead and do a mix RGB on that. Put that down. I don't think we're going to use any other um, things. We're definitely not going to use a bump. I'm staying away from bumps right now. So last but not least, I'm going to add a Musgrave. But we're going to use a very particular kind of Musgrave. Actually, I'm going to have to put a color ramp on here. Put a color ramp on there. We're going to use a constant between black and white. And 
and it's going to be bright red just so we can see it. And the Musgrave is going to be high detail, lower-ish dimension. Why is that not showing up? There we go. Little bits and bobs, but it is going to be lacrinicity. What about gray like purple? I think I like the one that we have. Who is my favorite character? We'll say three, we'll say 2.5. 2.5 is good. So we got like little liver spots all over. I kind of want to scale it way down and now we can add more. And I'm gonna go two on the detail now. And what this is gonna be is it's going to be um, Better idea, better idea, better idea. Let's put in a um, hue saturation and it's going to be value. That way I can use the predetermined color that we have here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to use gray, I think 0.1. That can be good enough. Maybe that's good enough. I'm not sure. Point 0.2. Point 0.3. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Little liver spots all over them. Nice and easy. Uh, in fact, I'm going to bring it even further down. We're going to have even more of these liver spots, but we're going to up that scale quite a bit. And maybe that's a little too much. Point 0.6. Look at that. That's a look right there. We got ourselves a goblin with liver spots. Not a problem. Cool. Who is my favorite character of all time? Man, I've been talking about this a lot with people. I've actually been talking about this with Im a little bit. We've been we've been kind of talking. Uh, T, sorry, I just used a real name. Uh, I'm a cup of tea in chat. We've been talking about this a little bit lately. Um... What is my favorite character? You know, when I was a kid, I was really inclined towards um, Samus. Uh, I would go for runs. I would go for runs near my high school a lot. And during my runs, I would be like, in my mind, I would pretend that I was Samus and that I had like the hyper speed or whatever it's called. I think it gets called different things in different games. And I would like pretend in my mind that I was like doing that thing where you run really fast and there's a rainbow going behind you. Um, and I remember doing that a lot as a kid. I remember feeling that way so often. Okay, let's go to world settings real quick. Let's change our HDRI. We're gonna change it to our default because that's the one that I like. Who? Samus from Metroid. Good old Samus from Metroid. Okay, so Goblin Skin is going to have Sheen. It's going to have a good amount of tint. Never played it? Not Salmon. Uh, well, that's a shame. It's a great game. That looks all right to me. I can live with this. Let's go back to the eyes. And you are goblin eyes. You like fish. All right, explain. What do you mean by that? What do you mean you like fish? Let's hear it. Um, we're going to put in a color ramp for the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and put in... Maybe I don't want to put in a color ramp. Here's an idea. What if I, again, put in a mix RGB? Okay, now we're feeling it. I'm starting to get into procedural stuff a lot. Um, we're gonna put in a gradient with a sphere. 
on factor. You are white. Do control T. You are going to be red just so we can see it. UV. Let's see here. What do I want to be doing? Okay, so UV is not it. Instead, we might want to do something like this. And pull down until we get that little thing that was showing up there. Where is it? Come back. Come back, let's see it. There it is. We got that. Okay, and now I can just take a um, color ramp and ramp between the two of them and then we're gonna shape it. What are you all talking about? What is happening? You all get up to the wildest conversations. Hmm. There we go. That'll do. That's close enough for me. It's a little gross looking, if I'm being perfectly honest. But um, it's okay to me. This is okay to me. I can live with this. Hello? Are you guys doing okay? What's what's happening? Why are we why are we doing uh beans and chocolate? I'm not understanding. Okay, we're gonna give this guy just a rainbow of eyes. So I'm gonna say hue, saturation, lightness to 0.5. And we're going. So the goal here is to go far and put on a random. And I've lost all control of chat. What else is new, right? That's kind of par for the course around here. Um. I'm exhausted, but if I nap, I won't be able to sleep very well tonight. Um, I mean, I think you should follow your body. I think you should do what's best for you. And if taking a nap is that and you stay up tonight, who cares, right? Nothing wrong with, uh, with kind of breaking a little bit of a sleeping schedule during times like this. I think that's perfectly fair. There we go. I actually kind of think goblin eyes might be dark. Like that. They might have a little bit of a yellowy tone to them as well. Like that. I think that's kind of what goblins look like. All right, everybody take a nice sip of water thanks to T. T loves uh, telling us to drink water. And I can't say that uh, I'm too displeased with that. That's a very kind thing for you to do. What about beans and coffee? What is happening? This is officially the thing where you're in a room full of people and you're all having one conversation and then eventually somebody's just like, hey, what if we talk about this? And they just add a new conversation to the room. Yeah. Two things Brazilians love is uh, coffee and beans. I mean, to be fair, uh, coffee is beans. Yep, T's got the right idea. Okay, that's our goblin. Done. Ready to go. We've done it. Folks, we've done it. Now I'm going to put an armature in here. And uh, we're, gonna, we're good to uh, animate these guys, throw them around, and uh, put them in the scene. And then I have something very important that I need to do after this. But um, 
we'll get there. So let's put on a little bit of that. Scooch on down. Nope, I want the armature. Go back to edit, grab you, just you, pop you on up. What about coffee and salmon? Coffee and salmon is um, not very good sounding, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. As somebody who loves salmon quite a lot, I'm gonna say that sounds bad. Um, I like salmon so, so much. Salmon is probably my favorite food in the world, like uh, from just a general standpoint. But um, no, I don't agree with uh, salmon and... Um... Hello? Wait, wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't extrude. I just added a new one somehow? Why weren't they connected? Are these guys not connected to each other? They are connected right now. I must have messed up somehow. I don't know how I disconnected them, but I disconnected them somehow. Yeah, how can I do that? That's not fair. What? Coffee after you eat is really good. That's very, um, it's very uh, Colombian, isn't it? What have I done? Why have I done this? If I just press E, right? I can make more, right? Easy. And if I put that down like that, okay, this is okay. This should be fine. E on out to here. Can I put on a mirror? I can. So if we're gonna E here, we didn't make a mirror, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Oreo coffee. You know, I was worried about you guys, but now I'm just more worried. And I'm not doing the fingers. Screw the fingers, they're not happening. So I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate this guy. Um, I don't care if the armature is perfect. This is not a character that I'm ever going to put into anything. I just need to pose them a little bit and uh, we're going quick. The goal is to go real fast on this. So I hope that this armature works. I think we're on drugs without using it. What? Thoughts on iced tea? Uh, I mean, you're not allowed to live in the south of the United States and not like iced tea. Um, like at all. That's like a big no-no. Um, for most of my life, I have not liked iced tea. Um, and now that I'm older, I feel okay about it. I drink it occasionally. Um, the people that I live with really like iced tea, so we get it every now and again. Not against it. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's just not my favorite. Why are there two? There's two of them? Why is there two? Okay, goodbye, I guess. The heck? Why is there... There's like 20 of them. Why is there so many bones? What have I done? Why did I make so many bones?
Hey, I'm very confused. I don't know what's going on. All of this stuff is fine. Why were the arms crazy? Um, I'm not a big fan of goblins. I know I'm talking to a bunch of goblin lovers over here, but uh, I don't really like goblins. They make sense in certain contexts. Okay, so we have done it, which means that I should be able to grab you and you and press Control P and parent um, with automatic weights. And you are goblin. I kind of wanted to put clothes on them, but I'm going to run out of time real fast if I try and do that. So let's grab you. Let's go into pose mode. Let's go into pose mode. And let's see how this looks. Are you good? Do you work? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're here. Oh, yeah, we're here. Cool, so we can make ourselves some goblins. Oh yeah, oh, we're good. It's a little twisted up, but um, too bad, right? Who cares? We got ourselves a goblin that we can pose, cool. So that was all just a big old thing, right? That was just a big old thing to get us to here. Now I can grab my goblin. Now I can grab all of this, bring you down. And we can put goblins everywhere. So let's put some goblins. So the goal is just to fill the scene with some weirdo goblin guys. So I'm gonna turn you over here. And honestly, I'm going to place them all first. I think that's probably my best interest. Um, and then we'll get started on actually um, posing them. So, we got goblins. We're posing. This is kind of a scary little climb for this guy, I'm not going to lie. I think I'm gonna grab both of you guys and scale you down quite a bit. Nope, 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 nope. Let's grab Goblin 1, scale you down to there. Goblin 2, repeat. Oh gosh, we can't. Sure, this'll do. Making you wanna play D&D &D or something? Oh yeah. I mean, this is this is a D&D &D little thing, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I have spoilers for everybody. This is kind of related to a campaign that I'm writing for D&D. That's sort of the idea of how I got here. Um, so D&D is a very apt way of saying this. So you're very accurate by saying D&D. Uh, I have a hunch I just messed something up. Hold on, let me check. Did I mess you up? You good? I think I might have messed this guy up. No, he looks okay to me. Never mind. We're back. Okay, cool. So let's grab you. And what I'm going to do is copy you and place you on up to here. This one's going to be a fun one. We're going to do this one really nice up here on the side. Hello? Why is it just a rig? I want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. Give me the whole goblin. Oh no, why is this happening? Okay, copy paste, there he is. Thinking fish. What are you thinking about? What would a flumph taste like? Okay, let's consult the experts. Um, I think the experts would be I'm a cup of Joe and I'm a cup of tea and maybe ace dragons. So uh, the experts, hello experts, what do you think a flumph tastes like?
Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be a great one. This one, I love this guy already. Okay, this is not a bad looking scene right here. I'm gonna grab one more goblin as sort of an extra, just in case, but I think we're ready to start posing. Color me in on these goblins. So that's my extra. That guy will just sit there. All right, let's pose you up. Time to pose you. So we're going to grab you two and rotate you up. Have I ever hated anyone? All the time. I've hated tons of people. Uh, I get I get mad at all sorts of stuff, you know? There we go. Move this whole thing back just a little bit. Let's give that head a little bit of a rotation. Oh, we're cruising now. We are, oh, the arms aren't connected. Hey folks, uh, the arms aren't connected. Oh gosh. The arms are not connected, which means I gotta do it probably like this. I don't care to redo all of this, so I'm just gonna kinda go for it. Like that. And then now we can grab you two and move you back into place. And that should be okay. This is kind of an uncomfortable looking angle, I'm not gonna lie, but um, you know, I don't think goblins really understand the idea of comfort in general. So I'm willing to live with this. We'll do it like that, and then we'll bring one of them out as a little bit more of a support right there. I can't believe the bones didn't connect. I don't even know why I made so many bones in the first place. That was very strange. Um, but yeah, I've hated all sorts of people. To answer your question, um, I, don't, I don't even like have the ability to name names. Like... One, I don't think that'd be fair to anybody, myself or anybody that I would be, you know, saying. But also, like, I've hated all sorts of people. It's a normal, it's a normal human emotion. Everybody hates. You know what? This is fine. This will do. Here he is. He's just hanging out. I can't believe I didn't do the arms. I'm so mad. It's always something, you know? Let's go ahead and give this guy a little bit of a wave. Everybody hates Chris. I remember watching one episode of that show and being like, I'm good. I don't need more than that. There we go. Look at him giving a little wave. He's waving. He's nice and sweet. You know what? He's he's so happy. He's like doing like a little kick with his his leg. He's like, "Wow, I love my friend who's coming down this this suspension bridge right now." He's super cool. He's my best friend. And honestly, what else can you expect, right? Give you a little head turn. We're going to nod you back just a little bit. The show is huge in Brazil. Why is that? Look at him. Oh, he's so pleased. Okay, your turn. Go say hi to your friend. It's time to say hello to your friend, little goblin boy. So first things first, let's make sure that he's nice and safe. Safety first. 
Goblins are all about that safety, like I said on the last one. That's the number one thing to goblins, is safety. If you ever meet a goblin who's not safe, it's not a real goblin. You can pivot the shoulder up just a little bit, bring this guy up just a little bit. And I kind of want to give it a little bit of an outer rotation and bring it in a little bit so he's cupping it. Ooh, that's kind of a bad angle. He's like breaking his own elbow. Back in the day, all the kids used to watch. Huh, that's very odd. I'm trying to think what like the big shows were when I was a kid. Like Code Lyoko was big. Or maybe Code Lyoko wasn't big, but Code Lyoko was like important to my friend group. <laughs> If I remember correctly, Junie and me were both very into Code Lyoko, but I could be projecting onto Junie a little bit. Um, uh, let's see. Code Lyoko. I mean, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was huge. Pokemon was huge. All the normal stuff was big, right? Um... Oh, look at these little, just, these are just some goblins living their best life. Ain't nothing weird about this. Look at him. He's just going to go say hi to his friend down there. Tintin. I don't even know what Tintin is. Um, when I was growing up, I was on the last little bit of Thundercats, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, He-Man. I saw like the last little bit of that stuff when I was growing up. Um, I was the perfect age for Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Um, I saw exactly, like, when he was in 6th grade, I was in 6th grade. When he was in 7th grade, I was in 7th grade. When he was in 8th grade, I was in 8th grade. And then he was in 8th grade another year, and I was in 9th grade. And then he was in 8th grade another year, and I was in 10th grade. And that was a little bit weird. Okay. This is looking it. I want to do the special thing, and then I'm going to start doing some uh, material work. There's a lot more I want to do here. I'm going to say that this is definitely not it, but I'm liking it. I'm actually really liking what we're doing here. I'm feeling really comfortable. I'm actually pretty pleased as punch about what's happening. Uh, ben 10 was a little bit after me. Um, ben 10 was cool. It was an interesting show, but um, it was it was after me. Okay, so let's separate by loose parts real quick. And we'll just go ahead and delete you. We're going to do the exact same thing here, and I guess I should probably just copy modifiers. Tintin is the dog. Yeah, I don't have memory of this. The name sounds familiar. I kind of thought Tintin was like a little racist Asian boy that was in like a Escape from New York type of film or something like that. Um, but I could be projecting, I guess. Oh, that didn't work. Oops, careful, careful, careful. Cat dog, I did do a lot of cat dog. Cat dog was big. Cat dog was awesome. Cat dog really did it, honestly. Okay, we're going to hit up a K. We're going to do a little bit of a K on this guy right here. And hit enter. And did it go all the way through? It did not go all the way through. Why not? How do you uh, knife all the way through? I want to say it's like control or maybe alt. K, hold down alt. Tin Tin and his dog Terry. Yeah, just that was beyond me. I wasn't I wasn't a part of that. That's okay. I didn't have to be a part of that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make my life real easy here. We're just gonna go like this. Just like that. We're gonna just delete. And now all we need to worry about is this little bottom face here. So I can grab this guy and extrude it straight up. And then we're good. Extrude along Z. Oh, 
right there. The new cartoons are cool too. I don't really watch new cartoons, I can't say. There we go, that'll do. And I'm just gonna bring the mountain down a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna cup this thing at the bottom. You like this whistle song? Uh, yeah, so this song is great. It is from Deadly, Deadly Premonition. I haven't played the game, but to the best of my understanding, it's if you choose to not play the game, um, you can go fish. And the game, like, kind of makes fun of you by playing it because it's a horror game. Horror game. It's like a existential thriller something or other. Um, but yeah, the game makes fun of you if you choose not to play it uh, when you go fishing. Um, and it plays that weird little kooky song. Okay, boom. Cool. Okay, so that is our mountain, right? So it's just a mountain on the back, and it's this stuff in the center. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spoil everything for everybody now. Are you ready? Here's the idea. Here's what we're doing. I'm very dark. Why am I so dark? i got to fix my camera settings. I wasn't that dark when I started. Um... Here's the idea. I'm going to put a camera on here and we're going to do a little rotation. So we're going to start at the back of this and it's going to rotate forward and you're going to see all the goblins and it's going to rotate back. So I'm going to make a little diorama on like a disc. What's the name of the scary game? It's called Deadly Premonition. It's not scary scary. Like I wasn't super scared by it, but it has like kind of dark imagery, I think is the best way to say it. Okay, so here is the last little bit. Here's the big thing. Here's the thing that matters to me. We are going to uh, fill this thing like a geode. And this is the part that I wanted to do the whole time. So let's make ourselves some gems. What do we want to do here? We want gems, 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 gems. Just a diamond, that's gross. That's a bad looking gem. I want gems. Oh, perfect, that's the one right there. That's a gemstone. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this big old gem up top. Just like this. We got ourselves a nice big old gym right there. Just hanging out. It'll be next to the gold. Okay, perfect. I rather want to climb a tree. You love climbing trees. That's kind of your thing. Now I'm gonna grab you, and we're gonna go ahead and add a hair system. Oh, it already looks good. It already looks perfect. Render as an object, as a gym. The gym belongs to the top platform. We're on top platform right now, and it is going to be gym. Now, we need to object rotation to this is going to get a little messy real quick. It's going to get messy kind of quick. Here we go. Okay, so we got to find the right angle for this. So it's going to be like this. Little bit up, little bit to the side, little bit more to the side, and a little bit to this side, and a little bit down, a little bit more down. That looks all right to me. That should be fine. What I will do is I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to grab it, and we're going to just push it back into the wall a little bit. 
and say that that looks A-OK -okay to me. And I'm going to hit Apply Rotation, and we're good. Um, any scary songs? What do you mean a scary song? You want a suggestion for a scary song? I do listen to a lot of scary music by conventional standards. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so there's gems literally everywhere. There's gems absolutely everywhere. So let's uh, let's fix this up. Let's do like 400. Maybe 400 is maybe a little bit too much. Let's do like 250. 250 is looking pretty good to me. I just want something scary, but it's raining. Uh, I'm going to recommend an artist named Igor. I-G-O-R-R-R. -R -R. Um, and I'm going to recommend a musician called Kikuo. Uh, K-I-K-U-O. Um, and they both have not scary stuff. They're very great musicians, but they have some real scary existential stuff that I really enjoy. So uh, I'm going to give that a little recommendation for you. Okay, so we want a little bit of a randomization on the size of these things. Like singing a scary story? No, it's just music. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a story or anything like that. It's just music. You know what? I kind of think I want to weight paint this. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm like, it'd be kind of cool if we weight painted it. Uh, get rid of that. I just want a little bit here on the tip. Um, there's not going to be anything on the outside, which is good because it's going to solidify anyway. And the solidify is projecting it outwards anyway. So I think we're okay there. And there's going to be a bunch down here. Nothing here. This one's bad. Lullaby from Queens of Stone Age. Oh, Mr. Six. You're a Queens of Stone Age fan? My man. It's so rare to find Queens of the Stone Age fans. I love Queens of the Stone Age. That band did a lot to influence my, um, my like, interest in, um like making music. A lot of what I do creatively is based off of Queens of the Stone Age. That's awesome. That's very cool to meet a Queens of the Stone Age fan. All right, we're gonna go ahead and say that's that just to kind of give it a little bit lighter on these bleak parts right here because they've already mined all this, right? There's no reason that this would have stuff. And then here, it's all up top. Yeah, perfect, this is great. This is it. This is it. We're good. We're here. We're ready to go. Um, I will take this moment to add those supports now. Since I said I was going to do it earlier, I think now might be a good time for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of this. Just like that. And let's go ahead and pop that on over here. Man, dare I say, this is coming together pretty nice. I'm kind of stoked. I feel great about this. Like, again, this isn't the best thing I've ever made. It's it's low poly. It's kind of simple, but, like, it looks good. It looks nice. Makes me feel happy. All right, let's do this. We're going to go ahead and do an SZ0 to get it nice and scaled flat. I guess it doesn't matter if we scale it flat as long as it intersects. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? You know what I think I want to do? I think I want to grab this point. We're going we're gonna to do this by hand, because I know there's a better way to do it, but I don't know what the way to do it is. You hate the winner. Man, what a, what a revelation that is, that you are in winter right now. That's kind of mind-blowing. Because uh, it is hot as can be over here. Um... 
What's the temperature like over there? What's uh what what kind of winter are we looking at? We'll give this one a little bit of a rotate just to match. I don't think you're gonna see any of this from the angle that we're gonna be looking, but um, it's not doesn't hurt to have it here. Oh, Bomberman music. Bomberman really affected me as a kid. I feel really inclined towards Bomberman. There we go. That's pretty good looking. Looks pretty haphazard. Exactly the vibe we're going for. And this one is going to be even easier. I'm only going to do two of them. We're going to do one right here, just like that. Just a little bit. It is 13 degrees Celsius. That sounds about like winter here. 13 degrees Celsius. What is that? That's like... 50 degrees Fahrenheit, I want to say. 50 is about right for us. Maybe a little colder than what we get, but pretty close. There we go. We are here. We're doing this. Color me really pleased with this thing. Oh, look at this little scene. Okay. All right. Let's take a chill break. Take a chill break. Relax. You've always been bad at physics? I mean, just pop it into a, your web browser. It'll tell you right away. All right, let's node this thing up. At night is like seven. Ooh, that's a yikes. That's that's pretty cold. Seven's a little cold for me. Okay, we're gonna give this some um, Q wood. We're gonna go ahead and make the rope into some rope later, but we'll go ahead and just stick to Q wood for now. Um, if I have wood textures, I might as well use them. There's no reason not to. Um, I'm actually going to give this uh, metal. I just missed it, and I didn't use the metal at all. But uh, we're going to give you some... Oh, I did get the metal. Okay, so Q gold. I want to do a new one named Q metal. I like the lullaby song thing. Absolutely. It's a great song. All right, so that is going to be just some metal. I kind of think we might even want to just go like no. Yeah, we'll go real simple. Why not? It's low poly. Who cares? So that's our Q metal for this. Um, you can be Q wood as well. You can be Q wood as well. We're gonna make some stone for these little platforms here because for whatever reason, I imagine them being made out of stone as if they carved them directly from um, the sides of the mountain. Does that make any sense? I don't think so, but uh, too bad. That's what I'm doing. All right, so let's do some gold first. So I'm gonna do a Q gold. We're gonna see how that looks. It's pretty good, but I probably want it maybe a little bit more radiant. What happens if I look up scary lullabies? I mean, that's that's your prerogative. You do whatever you want. I don't think it'd be that bad. Depends how easily you're scared. If you get scared easily, hey, don't do that. <laughs> That'll be not a good idea. Oh, man, if I want these to be carved from the mountain, maybe I should make them a little bit more weird and jagged and strange. We'll, we'll dig into that later. I'll think about that a lot later. So we're going to call you Stone. The outside of the mountain is different from the inside of the mountain, but for the time being, it's all going to be one material. 
So let's not think too hard about that. I didn't want to add a bump. It's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm good. I'm a champ. I got it almost exact. I kind of just guessed. I'm not going to lie. I kind of just guessed. All right. Let's add a little bit of a Musgrave. Musgrave inverse is good. That's okay, CQDK. You do you. Object. We need to apply some scale to this thing. Let's do the same thing to everything real quick. Wait, why did that just happen? Why is there a hole now? It just made a hole when I applied the scale? Doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. And this is now sideways? What is happening? You're without a jacket. Hey. That's life, man. Okay, so this, we want to up the thickness quite a bit. Like that, and now we're back. Cool. Now you can have stone. You can have stone. You can have stone. And now we gotta get the stone looking correct. So when I think of stone, what I'm gonna want is probably like a 0.4. We're going to want detail mega high, dimension pretty low. And we're going to do imprints instead of doing a full on texture. Oh, what a song. We're going to invert it. There we go. That's stone. That's good looking stone to me. I think I might even be inclined to make it smaller. What's your favorite Queens of the Stone Age album? I mean, it's gotta be Lullabies to Paralyze. It's gotta be Lullabies to Paralyze. Like, there's no way it's anything else. Um, I'm a huge Troy Van Leeuwen fan. Um, fun fact, uh, Troy Van Leeuwen is the guitarist for Queens of Stone Age. And when you hear Queens of Stone Age, you're like, oh, he's kind of country, he's metal, he's all this sort of stuff. Let's all take a drink of water. It has a very metal, country, western attitude towards it. It's beautiful. It's very good sounding. Troy Van Leeuwen is from the band A Perfect Circle originally, and they're... Like, whole sound is so much different than Queens of the Stone Age. And it's so cool, like, the path he took through it all. Because he is exceptional. Troy Van Leeuwen is an exceptional guitarist. I mean, he doesn't get talked about enough for, like, the crazy stuff that he did. Everybody talks about um, Josh Holm, the lead of Queens of the Stone Age. And he's great. I love Josh Holm. He's the one who inspired me. But uh, Troy Van Leeuwen deserves to be considered one of the better guitarists in the world, honestly. He is a wonderful man. Really, really talented. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to add a lot of transmission, like that much, maybe. Yeah, that looks about right to me. I might even want to lower the roughness even more. And then we're going to just choose some colors. So what color gems do we want? We have to put a red. I think I found a hush little baby scary version. What are you doing right now? Why are you doing that? Why are you finding scary hush baby stuff? Okay, so we have to have a ruby. We have to have a sapphire. That's not a sapphire. 
We want like a 0.55. Yep, that's a sapphire. Nope, it's still not a sapphire. We want 0.6. Okay, that'll do. Now, question time is what else are we adding? I'm gonna want probably... Point six five. That's perfect. That'll do. What next? What else do we want? We want an emerald. For sure we want an emerald. Good old-fashioned emerald with a little bit of cyan stuff in the middle. A yellow, I guess, is okay. And then a white. And if I do white, we're going to go kind of crazy on the white. So let's do a yellow. Like that, like gross kind of yellow. Um, CQDK is looking at scary stuff online to give you an answer to that. 0 0.01 no point zero point point one sure can you do this what is happening why can't I change this oh it's because it's I understand I understand I was doing it wrong There we go. Now we can kind of just tailor the color to whatever we want. That's perfect. Now we got a little pink right there. So we're gonna make that pink pretty rare. We're gonna make the green like that. We're gonna make the blue a lot more common, the red a lot more common. You wanna see something scary? Look at my Discord picture. Wow. Yeah, being lost is definitely my thing here. I'm gonna make the red a little bit darker. But there we go. Now we got jewels galore all across the walls. So if we switch over to rendered view, I'm going to shine really bright lights on here and it's going to reflect a bunch of cool colors off of this. But um, this is the beginning of what we're looking at. Part of me wants to add a little bit of an emission to each of these. So as bad as I think this might be, let's go for it. We're gonna add a little tiny amount of emission, just a tiny, tiny amount, just so that they pop. Looks like a little bit of rainbow candy everywhere. Okay, so I have 15 minutes before we do any sort of, um, any speed sketching stuff. So what can I do in 15 minutes? Oh, the lava, I gotta make lava. Let's make lava. Lava is super easy, isn't it? Lava's like mega easy. The cave looks dope. Thank you very much. It's not lit very well. I gotta add some lighting to it. But um, beyond that, I am pretty pleased as punch. Uh, Starkey Art. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, feel free. You're good. Ask me a question. I am, I'm A-OK -okay with questions. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pop on, how does this work? Lava looks like this. You know Richard Williams, the one who made the movie animation of Robert Rabbit in the United States, as they know him? Sure. What title would you give Richard Williams? Could you put your title in the chat so I know, so I don't know English, I already have to translate it? All right, all right. Let's uh, we got we're been given a little bit of homework here, but uh, I'll I'll oblige. Let's look up Richard Williams. One moment. Richard Williams. Hmm. I think what comes to mind is cartoonist. 
Um, but you could also call him an animator or a illustrator. But I would call him a cartoonist. I don't know if that title was popular when he was doing this stuff, but uh, I'll call him a cartoonist. All right, that's that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a yellow on this. I'm gonna put on, oh, that's actually perfect. And we're gonna want to grab a little bit of this. I call him Potato, yeah, for sure. Cartoon Ista is a little bit more of a uh, Hispanic thing. Is Hispanic the correct term? Correct me if that's wrong. Correct me if that's a rude thing to say. Um, I don't intend to be rude by saying that. Uh, potatoes are bay. Don't even get CQDK started on potatoes. Don't don't do this to me. Once you get CQD, CQDK started on potatoes, it's over. Oh, also, can I ask that everybody vote on their favorite um, their favorite themes for voting? Uh, we have a little bit of a lack of. Uh, representation. So uh, I would appreciate if anybody wants to add a little bit more. We already have goblins. We already have two goblins. Uh, so if you would like to add some new stuff and vote, please do. Um, I would appreciate that. Okay, so we got ourselves a Musgrave with high detail, low dimension. That might actually do it right there. Three goblins? We already have three goblins, too. You know what? I think that's good lava. I'm going to say that's the lava right there. To think that it should look like anything else might be not in our best interest. The only thing that I think is a little weird is I kind of wanted it to separate more. And the way that I thought I was going to solve that, so I'm going to try this real quick just in case. We're going to put a... Um, well, that's not what I thought would happen. That was a little weird. I voted on potatoes. Of course you did. <laughs> what else, though? We need more stuff. Magic crystals. I'm golden on magic crystals. Hey, T, that's awesome. Thanks for uh, thanks for adding that, T. Did something awesome happen? Um, I mean, you tell me, man. We're looking pretty we're looking pretty solid right now. No, we're not adding more goblins. <laughs> Stop with the goblins. I'm just gonna deny goblins. Okay, so what I want is probably a scale of one, a distortion of like three. Detail really high. Huh, not sure. Let's look at it from just pre-rendered view because all I need is the color. I don't really care about the lightness yet. If I reverse these colors, how little black can I make? Oh, you can make a tiny amount of black. We can make a very small amount of black. There we go. That looks pretty good. I can't say I hate that. Potato goblin? No way. 0% on the potato goblin. You are we're not passing this. This policy does not get passed into office. This one's a no-go. I love that that guy came in and asked us a homework question and then didn't follow. <laughs> I didn't really think about that until this very moment. That's such an aesthetic. That's such a funny move. I can't even I can't even hate it. That's such a funny move. All right, so this is that. Don't 
Don't. No, don't do the potato thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what I want to do is I probably want to do like an overlay or maybe a linear light. What I'm trying to do is mess this guy up pretty bad. Come on, you got it. Come on. Come on. How are we going to do this? We're going to multiply. Multiply or divide. Okay, divide. They asked uh, about an animator. They asked um, like what you would call a specific animator for a homework project. Okay, so detail can be higher and scale can be lower. And I can ask myself, why does it not look better than that? Huh. Okay, well, I think we're just going to take it like this. I think this is okay. I think I can live with this. The other way to do this might be like this, which I'm very worried is going to blow up. Yeah, this will do. We're going to do it just like this. This is how I'm going to call it. Had potato ice cream. Okay, cool. So this is our cave. Let's go ahead and pop on an emissive for this color. So we're gonna put you down to an emissive. We're gonna pop on up to here. Oh, beautiful. Chat's going nuts as per the norm. What else would I expect, I suppose? Now, now we're on to potato heaven. Cool. Okay. I'm thinking that's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It could use some work, but I'm, I'm done working on it right now. And last but not least, let's do this rope. The rope should be relatively easy. I'm going to first hit apply scale. We're going to pop on a double color ramp. Maybe just one color ramp, actually. And what I want is white and this color. So a little bit of off-white. That's going to be just about right. And we'll go ahead and throw on a wave. And it's going to have object dimensions on it, correct? What does that look? Oh, there he is. There she is. That's what the that's what the cat dragged in. Cool. And I'm just going to distort it a little bit. We're going to make it way darker. And less green. And I think we can get a little bit more prominent. Actually, I kind of like it like this. There's no reason to do that. Who is your favorite viewer? Oh, it's Junie. It's Junie, obviously. See, what you want me to do is you want me to say that I don't have a favorite. But it's obviously Junie, so, like, what are we talking about here? Okay, so that is going to be... Yeah, this is perfect. And it's going to have pretty high roughness, like a 0.7. She's cool, can't complain about that. Junie's a he. Mr. Six, I think you have a 100% batting average on wrong gender, which is not a bad problem to have. That's probably a good problem to have in the modern world. Who's your number two? Number two is uh, my second account. Um, I love my second account that um, I double check that my stream is uh, broadcasting audio correctly with. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I don't have any favorites. I'm joking. 
These are all jokes. <laughs> Who's my number three? <laughs> oh, I love competition. I love inciting competition. Um, no, I like you all. You're great. Anybody I've VIP'd is um, people that I think have good energy for stream. Um, anybody who I haven't VIP'd, I don't have any problem with. That's not what I mean. But um, I don't know. I like all of you. You want to be number 13? Okay, you can be number 13. It's your favorite number. That makes sense somehow. Welcome to a new song. One of my favorite songs of all time. Can I be number Flumph? You can be number Flumph. What number is Flumph? Okay, so this is what we have so far. Um, I kind of want to do a lot more with this, but it's okay. I'm okay with it. It's not bad. This is actually pretty good looking. The one thing I'm going to add, I'm actually going to add a little detail real quick. We're going to add this just a little bit. Actually, let's copy you. You want to be a uh, number unicorn? It kind of seems like color me. This might be a little bit of a crazy thing to say. You know, it might be a little bit of a crazy thing to say. But I'm going to say it seems like my input <laughs> on where you guys rank is not the most important thing here. It seems like you got your own opinions. There we go. Let's go ahead and make this guy pretty gray. And let's make it a little bit more on the gray side with some extra little colors on the inside. The whistle is cool. Thank you. Like I said, I've honed I've honed my whistle in pretty well. Okay, so that is that. And I kind of want to add one more dark tone like right here. Maybe on this side right here, very tight in. That way we can get a little bit more of the articulation, make it look good. Uh, we got our own opinions and we are not robots. And do we also have opinions? You're into the upside down um, exclamation point today. You're perfectly, perfectly allowed to have your own opinions. I got no problem with that. I value your other opinions. Um, I just thought it was kind of a subjective question. But, uh, you know, we're all having fun. Nothing wrong with that. Who, who is my favorite viewer? You know, I kind of got to shout out lurkers, people who come in and don't speak in chat. I kind of got to shout that out because that's me in 90% of the people that I talk to. Like I go into Joe's chat and I talk in Joe's chat. I go into sedated chaos's chat and I talk to chaos, but that's rare. That is really not who I am. You can't find the regular one. You can only find the flipped upside down one. That's very weird. Okay, well, this is uh, this is as good as our geode's going to do right now. So we're going to come back to this in a little bit. Actually, one more thing. One more thing. I'm obsessed. There we go. I want just a little bit more articulation on these gems. There we go. It's like the universe telling you to learn Spanish. Sounds about right. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this has been the first part of stream. And I will be back with the second part of stream in uh, just a second. So uh, thanks for being here for the serious half. I'm going to continue on to the not serious half. Ciao.